Aloha and welcome to Cabrinas Tech Tips. In this section, we'll be covering the installation and general operation of the override IDS unit for the 2009 PowerDrive IDS control system. The override IDS unit is a convenience item which provides the user a temporary place to let go of the control bar to unspin their lines. Override IDS can also be used to manage the tension and placement position of your bungee trim adjusters. The optional installation of this accessory item will modify the IDS operation instructions on page 20 of your user manual. Specifically, these instructions will supersede the subsection for Stage 1 D-Power On Demand operation. Installation does not affect Stage 2 Absolute D-Power, which remains as the method of releasing residual power from your kite. With the control lines unwound from the control bar, separate the IDS landing line from the D-Power main line. It's important to stop here and verify the correct orientation of the override sleeve. The sleeve has a reference hole that must be oriented properly. The hole must be on the lower end of the sleeve, pointing toward the control bar and not the kite. With the override sleeve now oriented properly, bend the D-Power main line until it flattens. You can then place the sleeve onto the main line starting from an angle. Now just snap the rest of the override sleeve onto the main line. Now just double check to make sure the sleeve is fully seated onto the main line. With the sleeve now in place, slide the override body onto the sleeve until you hear or feel the click. Next you'll want to attach the tension ring to the override unit. To do so, open the ring and insert it onto the main line. Slide the ring onto the override body until it is seated in the recessed groove in the center of the unit. Engage the teeth of the tension ring by squeezing them together. Now, set the override unit into your desired position by simply sliding it down the main line. The operation of the override IDS system is simple. Simply position the unit into your desired location along the D-Power main line. Many people ride with the unit set at a point where they can reach the power adjusters but where it does not interfere with normal D-Power. Squeeze the tension ring to achieve your desired holding tension. The tighter you squeeze, the more difficult it is to move the unit. Separate the tension ring to reduce the load. To unspin your control system, place the bar up near the override IDS unit. Prior to letting go of the bar, spin the bar in the direction needed to take the twists out of your control lines. When the lines have corrected themselves, grab a hold of the bar and resume steering. Take note that you are holding the bar in the correct orientation, red on the left, gray on the right. To achieve stage 1 D-Power, otherwise known as D-Power on Demand, push the control bar into the override unit pushing the unit towards the kite until the desired D-Power is achieved. The resistance to move the override unit will depend on the amount of tension you set on the ring. Higher ring tensions will require more force to push the override unit towards the kite. To resume normal riding, simply grab the bar and reposition the unit back to your desired location by sliding it back down the main line. 